This is the value of wrestling. The revolutionary force in wrestling podcasting. Oh, you didn't know? Well, we're back once again. Big Time Ranch right here on the Value of Wrestling YouTube channel. You know me. I'm the Big Time. Doing what I do. With another episode of the Big Time Ranch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Uh, I had a video that just popped up a little while ago. I hope you could watch that. And now we are back to actually break down some of the breaking news in the world of professional wrestling today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Oh, Jade Carhill keeps the universe guessing. Yes, the WWE is guessing. And Jade Carhill coming out of ringside news. Shane Carhill signed a deal with the WWE, and the former TBS championship will be with WWE for years to come. And this is fact. We've seen her walking in a performance center. WWE spent pictures of her training up today too it's a bit of a surprise for w aew fans who hopes she would change her mind about leaving tony khan's company then a uh, ringside news exclusive uh there are a lot of rumors going all around internally about jade carheel at this point stories are floating around about her going nxc or arriving straight on raw or smackdown And this is what she said about it. It has, and guess what? Everybody is going to have to tune in to every network and see where I'm going. That's what I'm here for. I'm just here to stir the pot and get people guessing where I'm going. So just tune in. So Jay Cargill is not telling you which branch she's going to. A lot of talks all over the place about which branch she's going to. Will she appear on Raw? Will she appear on uh, SmackDown? Will she appear on NXT? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see when Jay Cargill shows up on WWE TV. But we know for a fact... That she is in, she has signed a contract, and a deal is on its way. She will be with the WWE for the near future, and we will see how it works out, and we wish her the best and hope that it works out. We can't wait to see what WWE does with the newly arrived Jade Cargill and what her name may just be. Serena Deeb! Serena Deeb hasn't been seen on AEW television in a long time, and now reports are coming back about her absence could be the result of backstage heat. Coming from Ringside News, it has been nearly a year since Serena Deeb has been seen on AEW television. Why some people say that she's injured. She has told people that she's working towards an in-ring return. Others have a different story. Uh, Sepp reported that some AEW sources say that Deeb is not injured. In fact, she got an argument about something with AEW management, and that has caused her uh, absence. Serena Deeb hasn't been on screen in nearly a year, and we've learned a couple of claims why. Deeb attended the Cole Fowler Alley Club recently, making one of her first public appearances in quite some time. However, Fightful had reported this past summer that Deeb was sidelined not and not factored into creative, but also under contract to All Elite Wrestling at the time. AEW sources said that she was not injured. Deeb has told people that she dealt with a serious injury and is working to get cleared. However, there were sources within AEW said there was also a serious disagreement with the management last year that led to her being off television. We're told that Dee was very vocal about her use on AEW TV, and especially the time she was given. Those familiar with the situation claim that it entered the area of disrespect as she accused Tony Khan and AEW, man AEW management of cutting the time for her matches without telling her until they got to the ring. The claim on AEW side of things was they actually got a list of times and showed Dee that her time wasn't cut based on what was originally budgeted. It's difficult for producers and coaching wrestling companies to not relay times for matches until they finalize. The way to prevent wrestlers from being upset when inevitable cuts actually happen. Those close to Deeb say they haven't heard this story directly from her, but it is one that several members of the AEW roster and other companies has heard, but it led to a situation where she has heat. So does Serena Deeb have heat in the background? Does she have backstage heat? Is that why we haven't seen Serena Deeb on TV? Let's hope they can recover this and get her back on TV. Tony Khan sets the record straight about New Japan Pro Wrestling acquisition rumors. Ringside news. AEW President Tony Khan's passion for professional wrestling can never be questioned as he truly loves the business. However, he has been subject to a lot of criticism over the past year. Now it appears Khan 
has shut down rumors that he is purchasing New Japan Pro Wrestling. AEW has certainly seen a lot of growth since the inception back in 2019 as the company gradually adds to its shut shows as Rampage, Ring of Honor, and now collisions are lined up every single week. AEW also has a working relationship with New Japan Pro Wrestling as the two promotions hold the annual event Forbidden Door. During the latest AEW collision, Tony Khan did the voiceover for an AEW Wrestle Dream video package where he stated that a chapter in wrestling history would end at the pay-per-view and a new era in AEW history would begin. This led many fans to believe that Tony Khan was going to purchase New was going to purchase New Japan Pro Wrestling. While speaking during the uh, AEW Wrestle Dream media call, Tony Khan addressed the rumors that he was going that he was going to purchase he was rumors that he was going to purchase New Japan Pro Wrestling. And Khan made it clear that there is no truth in such speculation and rumors. And I quote, coming from Tony Khan, I'm a little surprised at how the speculation picked up and, this, and the specifically the transactional nature of it. We have such a great partnership right now and we're doing such great things with New Japan Wrestling. I was a little surprised to see it, says Khan. Overall, I've really enjoyed working with New Japan Pro Wrestling since nearly two years. Since uh, over these last two years, we've had a, two great Forbidden Door events, and we've sent a number of top AEW stars to Japan to wrestle on Wrestle Kingdom and top shows. We work together in the U.S., and there are people in AEW who have helped develop New Japan, and people from New Japan who have helped develop AEW or Ring of Honor. I want to continue that partnership for a very, very long and um, time. And right now, we have something very good going. I'm a little surprised by the speculation. I didn't know. Where it came from, it's probably a good time to have a lot of speculation on the eve of Wrestle Dream. I'm glad we got a lot of people talking. Certainly that one video with all the great clips of Mr. Inoki, top stars of today, I thought I, it got people talking, and it was a positive thing. So, Tony Khan is not looking to be purchasing New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, any news, rumors, or reports there that seem to be all fake news, unreal or unsubstantiated, coming from Tony Khan, doesn't seem like he's in the buying place. Let's see. In other news, Tony Khan makes shady remarks referring to WWE's latest firing sweep. WWE and UFC emerged to form the company TKO Holdings Group, and with an exciting time for Wall Street, the AEW followed the up by firing over 100 employees. A week after that, they asked a number of wrestlers from their payroll as well, and Tony Khan paid attention to that. Tony Khan took part in a media call to promote AEW Wrestle Dream. During the call, he was asked a very interesting question about Fox potentially becoming a bidder for AEW's television right. After all, Fox is losing WWE SmackDown as the blue brand has signed a five-year contract with USA Network. Regarding whether Tony's envision, whether Tony Khan's envisions Fox as a possible bidder for AEW, he refrained from offering a comment. He emphasized his partnership with Warner Brothers Discovery and the importance of loyalty within the family business. Tony Khan then stressed his commitment to safeguard his staff even in the face of challenges and expressed his adherence to the principle instilled in him while growing up. Although business aspect is considered, their current association with WBD extends until the end of 2024. While acknowledging the point the potential interest of multiple bidders, he preferred to not speculate, emphasizing his loyalty to Warner Brothers Discovery. Not a knowledge Fox is a strong platform for sports and wrestling, but expressed his desire to maintain AEW's affiliation with Warner Brothers Discovery indefinitely. He even in indicated a willingness to accept a slightly lower offer to remain with Warner Brothers Discovery, uh, appreciating all they have contributed to AEW. Tony Khan took a little bit of a shady shot, as he said, that he would protect his employees if any sort of deal took place. Khan said that even if he gets punched in the face, he's not going to take it out on the staff by cutting 100 people and then cut wrestlers. So that was Tony Khan's comments on that. Tony Khan confirms AEW's change to a monthly pay-per-view schedule. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we are going to get 12, 12 pay-per-views from AEW going forward. AEW started off with an only a few pay-per-view events, but that will change soon enough, and this is coming from Ringside News. Now the company is going to start putting on, out one pay-per-view per month. Khan, the company has a Wrestle Dream event this weekend. To prepare for that event, Tony Khan sat down with the media where he hyped the event and broke a big piece of news about the company's future. During the media conference, Tony Khan revealed that AEW will be going to monthly pay-per-views. He said this is the perfect time to debut Wrestle Dream event as well, and he seems very excited about what's to come. Khan said he's never said there will 
they will move to one pay-per-view month. But if there's ever a time to add a show like Wrestle Dreams, it's now. He feels that the last three pay-per-views is the best run of the three consecutive pay-per-views they've had ever done. He's open to more AEW events on a streamer and could be part of a new pay to wears right package deal. It's out of the scope with the current package. AEW is certainly producing a lot of content, and now they have uh, even more pay-per-view events to offer fans. Only time will tell if all of that extra booking responsibility will pay off in the end. So it seems like it's there. It seems like AEW is going to go to one pay-per-view a month. Now, I brought this up in a short, and I just want to iterate, reiterate, reiterate it right here, right now. We need to stay out of the lives of the personal lives of wrestlers. We can be a fan. We can ask them for autographs. But we need to do it in a respectful way. And we need to stop worrying about what's going on in their personal lives. Every turn and, tor- turn and corner. Ladies and gentlemen, coming from Ringside News. Again, rumors of Triple H and Stephanie McMahon's marriage status sparks speculation. Uh, WWE fans love to investigate and figure out their own theories. Yes. Everybody wants to spin on their tinfoil hat and create a conspiracy theory. It appears that some fans have sparked their own cons- own conversation about Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. The rumor mill started turning regarding the marriage of Paul Triple H Levesque and Stephanie McMahon with some claims circulating that the couple had, was undergoing a divorce. These rumor gains momentum after Sean liked to post on X that criticized Stephanie McMahon. Now we are getting to the bottom of the story. Most wrestling fans are aware that Triple H and Stephanie McMahon began dating around late 2000 or early 2001, initially kept secret due to Vince's reservations about his daughter dating a wrestler. Stephanie revealed an interview with that Vince initially allowed them to date for a month, but then withdrew a consent. Nevertheless, their feelings for each other grew stronger. As news of Triple H's relationship with Stephanie Mann surfaced, some fans cha- cast doubt on his wrestling achievements, believing he married into the McMahon family for career advancement. Despite occasional rumors of their split in the early 2000s, these claims were unfounded. It's worth noting that Shawn Michaels likely liking the anti- it's worth noting that Shawn Michaels liking that anti-Stephanie McMahon tweet certainly made fans talk. Hausman was quick to point out on X that this was a case of accidental liking, as Shawn Michaels is actually not in control for he has a team that does that. For for those getting all hyped up about Shawn Michaels liking the Stephanie McMahon tweet, I'm told it was an errant like by whoever helps with this account. Obviously, Shawn's best friend is Triple H, and he has a ton of respect for Stephanie McMahon. So this was somebody who was in charge of the account, and they errantly liked uh, the wrong post, apparently. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon were married in uh, 2003 in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Nevertheless, speculation about the longevity of their marriage persisted, fueled by the notion that Triple H had entered the family to further his wrestling career. Their three children together further disproved this theory. In recent years, fans on social media pointed out instances where Triple H was seen without his wedding ring. The rumor gained attraction when WWE released a video of Stephanie Hunter providing a tour of WrestleMania Annex in 20... 20, or 2018. Some fans speculate that Hunter might have been trying to conceal his hand in his pocket or that he appeared distant from his wife. These observations lend to conjuncture that they were separated, putting their public appearance together in question. As of this writing, we have heard no official announcements or seen any indication that Stephanie McMahon and Triple H have split up. They are both very busy, although Stephanie McMahon's WWE exit did provide her with a lot more chance of to stay at home. But well, ladies and gentlemen, there is no news, rumors, or speculation. It is all, well, I mean, there is speculation, and that's all it is. There is a whole caseload of speculation that saying Triple H and Stephanie Man have begun, have divorced, and there's no factual basis on it, and we need to not worry about it. We need to just stop caring about their personal life. If there's something going on between Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, it's about them and it's between them. It doesn't need to be blasted on the news. It doesn't need to be talked about by anybody and it doesn't need to be spread out there. End of story. Their children don't need to be dragged through it and they don't need to be dragged through it. If something is up, they will deal with it. They're adults. That is their personal life. If Triple H and Stephanie McMahon are to get divorced, if this, if there is any traction in the story at any point in time, yes, we'll let you know about it. But at the end of the day, it's really not important and it really doesn't matter we want the best for triple h and stephanie mcmahon and no matter what happens we will support both of them through it all so anyways it looks like we have wrapped up all the news that was out there to break right now we have hearing oh there is the aew looks like it will it is getting closer to working with warner brothers discovery and max about going streaming on that platform this could be the future of aew we are still waiting to see more on that development where were jade cargill 
wind up in WWE? What will her name be? Will she continue to be able to use that name, or will she have to come up with something new? It's her heat on Serena Deeb. We broke that down. We'll have to wait and see. And if you're a fan and you love professional wrestling like we do, we welcome you to the Value of Wrestling family. We hope that you will subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that stuff. Help us get out there. Help us grow because that is the key. You are the biggest part of the Value of Wrestling as we are. You are going to be the ones that make this brand grow. You are the ones that will make this brand special as we develop and go forward. And we need your help and support to get there. So, with that said, there's another big time rant that came out a little while ago. If you want to hear our comeback to people's comments, because if you put a comment up there and we feel that it's justifiably something that we need to talk about, good, bad, or otherwise, we may do a video on it. So never be surprised if we find one of your comments and do a take on it. And we did that a little earlier I know uh, my partner, one of the co-founders of the Value Wrestling, Paulus Clark, did his own spin on trolling the trolls. Take a look at that short. It's a great laugh. And uh, take a look at my video, Breaking News. Wrestling is fake. Oh, no. Yes, wrestling is fake, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're not shocked, and I hope that doesn't sadden you. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode. I'm Big Time. This is the Value Wrestling. Subscribe. And join us, shall you? Mm -hmm.